fight until you win. Just that I've been very pleased and proud to serve with this Detroit branch NAACP, the largest in the world, not just the nation, the world, uh, since 1992. And certainly I hope that uh, I've contributed somewhat to this magnificent progress that's been made under the leadership of Reverend Dr. Wendell Anthony. I thank him for the opportunity to serve. While I truly believe that I am the beneficiary of a family and a community that have wrapped their arms around me and demanded greatness, uh, but more importantly, uh, have spiritually, mentally, and physically supported the pursuit thereof, I certainly uh, would point to the individuals who have uh, encourage me to move into leadership here at the Detroit NAACP and that of my mother, Ms. Yvonne White, uh, and my brother, Brian White, both who were uh, members of the Detroit branch NAACP and held various different capacities of leadership uh, prior to my coming on board. I always like to jokingly say that if we had a family business, it would be that of civil rights and social justice advocacy. Thank you to everyone who has come before myself and those generations who have yet to come to the trailblazers of the last 100 years of the Detroit branch in AACP. We, as in the next generation, stand poised, ready and willing to fight for the next 100 years. Thank you and God bless. When I think about how I got into the NAACP, the Detroit branch leadership, uh, the one person that really came to me and really tried to convince me to be a part of this was, of course, uh, Ernie Lofton. Ernie Lofton came to my office one day as we were in church over on Six Mile and asked me about running uh, for the Detroit branch president. Well, I think when one asked the question about the cultural change that we've had in the Detroit branch NAACP since I've been president, I think it's been a more uh, assertive and aggressive uh, outreach, uh, particularly as it relates to community uh, on the streets and negotiation uh, and demonstration. Uh, the Youth Council and connecting to the next generation was extremely important to me. Uh, bringing the youth council inside of the day-to-day -day operations of the branch I thought was extremely important. Uh, the advice I would give to the future generations of NAACP leaders is uh, be honest, uh, live your passion, um, continue to grow your skills, uh, love black people unconditionally, and don't ever, ever apologize for being committed to self-determination. I was uh always in love with the NAACP since my youth. I was head of the NAACP uh, in my high school, Central High School. I attended uh, Central High School with Reverend Wendell Anthony. Uh, the membership uh, uh, doubled during my tenure. It was already the largest branch at 25,000 members upon my arrival, but it grew to 50,000 during my tenure. The most important things we did for citizens never made the front pages. That is forcing uh, corporations to do the right thing with respect to affirmative action, uh, inclusion, diversity, and uh, we um, just provided help for people, small or big, who requested the services of the Detroit branch and ACP. It was a pleasure to serve. Well, I think making sure that lawsuit in the federal district court to desegregate the Detroit schools was an important uh, part of my presidency, and we wanted to make sure that case flowed evenly through the court. It, it went all the way uh, to the Court of Appeals and eventually the Supreme Court, so that was the most important uh, part of my presidency. What advice would you give to the future leaders of the NAACP? Continue to be vigilant about the un underprivileged in the poor community. Uh, NAACP continues to be the strongest organization on behalf of African Americans in this country because the issues have not died. Racism still survives and we have to address those issues as we continue to be a viable organization.